Well, we're in the process of rebuilding this sheep wagon that was built in the 1890s, and we want to preserve it to where it looks like it has aged for 100 years, but we have to replace a number of parts. Last week, we replaced the floor, and I sprayed it with a vinegar metal filing solution. The top of the floor has turned out to be pretty uniform. These two slats here, they kind of stand out, but that was from the beginning. This new 13th board that I put in blends right in with the rest of them. I'm kind of liking the looks of that. That's going to make a nice old looking floor for the bed of the sheep wagon. With my sides and benches cut to length, I'd like to find the finish sizes exactly to these irons. A number of these irons have little bends to them and I would like to straighten these out and I'm gonna do it cold in the press as much as I can. A few of these I'm gonna to have to do repairs down here because they were pretty rusted out where they went through the cross frames. But as much as I can, I'd like to do this cold. I would want to leave this original old weathered rusty look to it so that it'll fit right in to this antique wood finish that I'm doing on this wagon. Height here. I'm going to have to do some of this on the anvil, maybe, or in the vise.
another repair job here. A number of these are bent out on the bench right at where this brace comes up. Must have rolled over. This one is. This one here is similar. Trying to keep these bolts kind of lined up with which irons they came off of. This is the iron from the right front, and this is the brace. It must have got hit by something. It got pretty bent. So this next one, what do we got here? Left rear. Yeah, this is, has the hook for the rear platform of the boot. It's pretty bent up on this brace. And likely we're bent here and also have a twist to it. We got a bend on this bolt hole here as well. The bolt that goes through the framework is actually pretty nice on this one. This last one is the right rear. It's the one that's probably in the worst shape. The hook for the boot, got a little bend, not a big deal. But this brace had been rubbed on so long, it's almost cut through here, and it did cut through here. I'm gonna have to stick that back together, and then this is the end that rusted off as it went through the mainframe. I tried to get that bolt off, I just twisted it right off, I gotta do that. So, I think maybe I'll try to straighten this one out a bit and then put it back in position so I can weld it to I get my angles right. Kind of a mess. You have to be careful here that's going to want to bend pretty easily.
It's going to put us pretty close there. I might leave a little space for whatever wore that through so I don't come too short. Maybe about like so, maybe 3 sixteenths, quarter. This end's going to be up tight. So I want three quarter inch for my sideboard. Need to hold it about there. the gap and then I filled in what was worn out by whatever. I'll take this off and finish the other side. did this brace through here I showed you that it just went back to rust again and it's pretty close to what the rest of it is maybe a little different shade but it's not a rust that just rubs off you know many of these formulas that are out there talk about vinegar and peroxide and salt and all that type of stuff and it tends to be a surface rust that doesn't really eat in well I take this same vinegar metal filings and while this is still warm and I spray it on it 
and I might do this as it is cooling. But I've found that it has a tendency with this little bit of heat to actually just work that rust right into that steel. And it's not so much a surface rust anymore, but it actually is a rust that has taken hold of the iron. So I could do this maybe a couple times. I'll probably just let that dry and see what that color looks like when I come back. It'll actually just work that rust right into that steel. It kind of blends things back together again pretty well. I even got some overspray on this, which is not going to hurt. And you just rust that back up again. So I'll let that dry and probably come back and do it again and just show you what it does. You see it has enough heat to it that it's drying pretty quick. See how rusty that's turning? I can just deepen that rust by adding a little more to it and let it eat a little deeper. And just let it dry again. Now this brace is completely cold, so it's not drying very fast like that other one is. See how well this one is rusted up? I'll just add a little more to this one here. Just let her set. So here we are after we've dried a bit. Puts it back looking rusty again. This one is also dried off. So we have a repair that kind of blends us in. Doesn't look quite so obvious. Where I heated this nut. You can also put that back and make it rusty again as well. And since that nut is cold, I can just add a little heat to it, speed the process up a bit. Yeah, I think that'll work. So this is the one I now just repaired. This next one is the one that broke off when I was trying to straighten it. So I'll do the same to that one. I'll weld it back in. This next one is actually in pretty good shape. This one from the right front is real thin. See here. That all needs to be built back up again, so I'll repair that one. This next one is the left front. It's kind of punky. I might add a little repair into that, kind of build some of this back up again. This is the left rear, and it's actually in pretty good shape. And this is the right third back, so this is the center brace on the right side. It's got a lot of rust and corrosion. I'll probably build that up as well. And this is number two on the right side. 
and it's got a bend in it and it's really eaten out. I'm going to have to build it up as well. I'll heat that up and straighten it out and fill some of this back in. So out of these eight braces, actually two here were in good shape. The other six need a little bit of help. I already have this one repaired, so I've got five more to go. So that'll kind of give you a little flavor of how I'm going to try to preserve these and still make them look rusty and old, even though they'll have some new repairs on them. Kind of blend them all together. You know, most of the time I try to sandblast and make everything look new. As we all know now, we're going to try to preserve this and make the new look old. Appreciate you coming along. Thanks for watching.